Well, everyone, FaceTime on iOS 26 did get a pretty big upgrade and update. So let me go ahead and show you how the FaceTime basically got a little bit of a change within iOS 26. Number one, if we open up the apps, you can see that the applications do look fairly different. So at the top portion, you can see this is what the application looks like here, and this is what the application looks like on iOS 18. So between both, you can see the layout is slightly different. We now have these big cards inside of iOS 26's FaceTime, whereas in iOS 18, it is not necessarily like that. Our new call button has also gone from the top button down to the bottom portion right here. And we also still maintain the edit button in the top, uh, top left. So you can see that's slightly different a little bit here as well. And then if we go in, we now have this manage filtering option right here on the top right. So we didn't have that before on iOS 18, but now we can go and specify it and coordinate it, whether it's a call, a missed call, a voicemail. It's actually like a more thorough application inside of iOS 26 than it was in iOS 18. Now I wanna go ahead and call myself from my other phone and I wanna see what it looks like. So if I go ahead and do a FaceTime call and if I go ahead and just do it with literally myself, so I think I had to do it this way, but this is basically what the new FaceTime interface will look like on both. So you can kind of get an idea. So if I go and switch it over between both, you can see the layout is slightly different. On iOS 18, you can see that this is the standard layout. We have the block at the top and nothing else really at the bottom. Within iOS 26, you can see that for the most part, we have our buttons in the bottom right now. So we have our buttons right here and we can tap on like these buttons here to basically use live caption, screen sharing, share play. And you can also click on the mute icon or the video icon right here. So that is slightly different versus how it was before. So I do think that is kind of interesting. You do still get the same type of layout on both, but I do know that it does look very different. And I do think that is in and of itself another interesting thing kind of going on here. So I'll make a video on how to use this one on iOS 26 because it is a pretty big difference, but that's kind of the main difference you should probably experience inside of iOS you know, 18 to iOS 26 is FaceTime. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.